Today's word, rose hip. Rose hip. Rose hip. Can you say rose hip? Rose hip. I knew you could. What the heck's a rose hip? Let's talk about rose hips. The rose hip is the fleshy fruit of the wild rose and some domestic varieties. You won't find rose hips like this one on most showy garden variety roses. Nope, you'll find these. Not so tasty. According to the World Wide Web, rose hips are sometimes called rose heps or rose haws. Yee! Huh? There are a number of wild rose species throughout the Northwest. My favorite is the Nutka rose. Why, because it's so tasty? Nope, it's just fun to say. Sounds Russian. Well, it's not. While not considered an essential food source, Native American groups throughout North America utilize rose hips in a variety of ways. To make tea, as a fresh snack to be eaten raw, and sometimes mixed and eaten in puddings. The long straight shafts of the wild rose plant are perfect for manufacturing arrows like this one, or adaladle darts, like this one. Rose hips are high in vitamin C. In fact, during World War II, groups of boys would harvest rose hips to create a highly nutritious syrup used as a substitute for citrus fruits, which were in short supply during the war. Here in Southern Idaho, you'll find wild roses growing in a variety of locations, from the banks of the Snake River, all the way to the flanks of the Sawtooth Mountains and late fall is the perfect time to harvest rose hips. Well guys, the weather's a little bit chilly and you know what that means. Man scarves and dorky hats. But it also means rose hip season. This bush behind me is loaded with rose hips. I'm gonna pick a few and take them home to make some delicious rose hip jelly. A ripe rose hip will vary in color, anywhere from a bright orange to a dark red. In my opinion, soft and squishy rose hips are the ripest and best tasting. And after picking a few hundred rose hips, your hands should look like this. Covered in ketchup? Yep. Let's take these to the kitchen. That's right guys, fall is a great time for rose hip picking. This may be just a little bit early. I like to wait until mid-November to really catch the rose hips at their ripest. But I went ahead and picked a few today just for you guys. And today what I'm gonna be doing is mixing up one of my favorites, rose hip jelly. Now the first thing you gotta do if you're gonna make rose hip jelly is process your rose hips. That means removing the stems and the tips. You know what would be really handy? A rose hip tip picker. What I've got is about two cups of processed rose hips, some fruit pectin, a little bit of granulated sugar, a sieve, and because I only have about two cups of rose hips, I'm gonna mix in some service berries that I harvested in July. Well, I think you guys know the drill. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and cover these with a little bit of water on the stove in that pan right back there and simmer them down, press them through a sieve, then uh, strain out the juice. Then I'm gonna take that juice, bring it to a boil, add my sugar and my pectin, bring it back to a roiling boil. And then I'm just gonna pour it off into jars for a delicious snack. It worked perfectly. That is absolutely delicious. Not like those broccoli berries or the hummus. Rose hip, get yours today. Hey, what a great chat today about rose hips. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.